Hey everybody, sorry it's been so long since I posted a video. This one is for Cy10 Bruggenkate. Hi Cy. Hey Matt. I saw your YouTube video challenging me, throwing down the gauntlet, challenging me to a debate. And as has happened every other time you have challenged me to a debate, I will accept. Every other time, Matt? When have I challenged you to a debate? I've just been responding to your challenges. And then we'll, I guess we'll see what happens. What are you thinking, Cy? You're not on my level. Thank God. Is that what you were looking for? Did you want to taunt me on YouTube to get a clip that you could perhaps use out of context um, in order to make me seem to be saying something I wasn't? Much in the same way you taunted on Facebook until I pretty much revoked your invitation to come on the show um, for really good reasons. Why don't you post that clip with context of what I said before and after and then talk about what was going on on Facebook at the time where you were basically accusing us of you know, not, not being capable of treating you fairly. Okay. I've seen people struggle with this, and it's, it's probably because to people who understand burden of proof, the nature of evidence, um, the foundations of epistemology, and how we're actually going to go through determining whether or not something is believable, um, it comes off as so absurd that they're caught completely off guard. If Psy10 What's-His-Face wants to call into the show, um, you know what? I'd rather he didn't, because I've heard from other atheists that he's called in or done podcasts with them with the express understanding that he's not to use the content without their permission. Um, and then he's gone and edited things and thrown it on DVDs and then sold it to make money. And if I don't get to make money off this, nobody's making money off this. So Cy isn't going to be uh, very pleased if he calls into the show. Okay, now that was a clip in context. Clearly Matt does not want me to call into the show. But why not? Because he's afraid I'm going to edit it, put it on a DVD, and sell it? Matt, where is the evidence of that? But listen to what he says right after that. Now, if he wants to, if he wants to have a public debate at some point, okay. As soon as he gets up and stands up and acknowledges that he's engaging in presuppositionalist apologetics, uh, I'm going to eat his lunch, and then we can talk about something else. Matt. Challenge me to a debate. You see the date on that clip? June 3rd, 2012. And what did I do? I sent him an email. I posted on their wall. I sent him a private message. And yes, Matt did respond. Over a month later. And if that's the way you're going to be and all the other crap that was going on, of course I'd rather you didn't call the show, but you're still welcome to call the show. My personal preference doesn't stop you from being able to call into the show. In this case, though, you wouldn't have an out-of-context quote. You're not at my level. And it's clear to most people that you seem to be trying to pull yourself up by our bootstraps. And you have been unprofessional about this. Why on earth would you throw out a debate challenge on YouTube instead of an email where we've done this previously, where it's been professional? Unprofessional? Why did I do it on YouTube? Seriously? Well, maybe because I saw this on YouTube. And cl it's clear that he's been paying attention to the presuppositionalist knuckleheads like Cy Ten Bruggenkate mm -hmm. and uh, Kent, uh, no, not Kent Hovind, um, Eric, Eric Hovind, uh, who, who supposedly wanted to debate me, but uh, evidently are just too doggone busy all the time to ever actually make it happen. You see, I'm not the one who has a history of saying, yes, I'll debate you, and then vanishing. Well, we'll see about that. In April 2009, Cy contacted the show and said he'd like to be on as a guest, and Jen explained our guest policy to him. Yes, she explained the guest policy, that I couldn't be a guest on the show. But told him that he's more than welcome to call on the show, we'd love to have him call on the show, and if he told us what day he was calling in, we would set aside a line for him. Actually, that's not it at all. I wasn't told that I would have a separate line. I was told that I would be bumped to the front of the line, here. And here. Which is more than we do for, you know, regular callers. But this wasn't good enough for Cy. My impression is that uh, this did not please his ego and that he didn't want, he wanted to appear as a special guest. Not a special guest, Matt. Just a guest. Uh, some unheard of out of the blue, definitely at the time, probably still a little bit now, wanted to be on as a special guest and didn't want to be like all the other callers. Again, Matt. Not a special guest, just a regular guest, so that you couldn't do this. 
Well, but you guys don't have any explanation. Goodbye. Yeah. And that's why I didn't want to be a run-of-the-mill caller on your show, because you could hang up on them on a whim. And he had a back and forth with Jen where she pointed out how it seemed dishonest to say that his primary purpose was not to promote theism when he's there representing a website called Proof That God Exists. Maybe he should look up theism. Okay, let me see if I got this straight. I asked to be a guest on the show. Then I'm told I can't be a guest on the show if my primary purpose is to promote theism. Then I email a response saying that my primary purpose is not to promote theism, and I'm still not allowed to be a guest on the show. Now, why couldn't I be a guest? Why did he want me to call in? Maybe so he could hang up on me if things got rough? Um, but anyway, this back and forth with Jen went on, and then on every occasion when she replied to him, she once again reiterated that she would love to have him call into the show, and that he was welcome to call into the show, and that we would set aside a line for him to call into the show. No, not a separate line. I was going to be bumped to the front of the queue. That's it. And he replied by telling Jen that clearly she wasn't integral to the show. Again, no. I said that it appears that she's not integral to the show. I didn't know. That she should forward the emails to me. I'd already seen all of them. They were being copied to our entire list. Jen was responding on behalf of all of us. But she should forward them to me because maybe I wouldn't play word games that would disqualify him from appearing on the show. That's right. It's a big word game. I can't be a guest if I promote theism, but I can call into the show. What's the difference? Why would I have to call in so that he can hang up on me whenever he wants? With a guest, it would be more obvious what he was doing. Now, how delusional or dishonest do you have to be to have somebody say, we'd love to have you on the show. We welcome you on the show. Please call into the show. I've seen your website. Please call into the show. We'll set aside for line for you to call into the show and then claim that they're playing word games to disqualify you from appearing on the show. How many ways can you say, yes, call us and have the person still go, well, you're playing word games to disqualify from me from appearing on the show. And I replied to him and pointed out that Ray Comfort had been on the show and Matt Slick had been on the show and others had called in and they all called in and none of them were this special guest category that Cy seemed to want. He didn't reply to that email and years went by. That's right. I didn't reply. I wasn't interested in your word games. I've seen you hung up on people. I didn't want you to do that to me. If you would have me as a guest, I would have been happy to be on your show. And in July 2012, sometime around then, there was some Facebook taunting and he and Eric were having their fun. Okay, so you hadn't heard from me for years until some Facebook taunting in July 2012. Matt, what about the video that you posted in June 2012 where you called me out for a debate? Now, if he wants to, if he wants to have a public debate at some point, okay. As soon as he gets up and stands up and acknowledges that he's engaging in presuppositionalist apologetics, uh, I'm going to eat his lunch, and then we can talk about something else. And what did I do after that? I sent Matt an email. I posted on the Atheist Experience wall. I sent them a PM. And I didn't hear anything for over a month. And people were saying, hey, why didn't you call into the show? And one of the comments that I recall him making, although I haven't looked it up, so this is paraphrasing, is that he didn't call into the show because he didn't have any good reason to think that he would be treated fairly. No, Matt, I just didn't want to be one of the callers that you could just hang up on. Well, but you guys don't have any explanation. Goodbye. And in an email response to him, I pointed out um, that this isn't actually true and that he should perhaps talk to Ray Comfort, who had nothing but nice things to say about the way he was treated on the show. I don't have that email. Produce that email, please, Matt. I don't have it. And Matt Slick called in more than once. Each of these guys got more than 45 minutes. We had good discussions. I enjoyed it. Yet that didn't seem to be a good enough reason and people weren't buying it once we talked about that so he emailed me in july of 2012. no matt i emailed you on june 4th the day after you went on your show and called me out for a debate and said okay you want to do this debate let's do a debate okay fine and i replied with let's set a topic let's pick a format let's figure out how we're going to do this and blah 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 you replied over a month later. And what I got back the very same day was, I'm busy. I'll try and contact you in a week. That's right. Matt got back to me over a month later and I responded to him the same day. But a month later, I was busy. But apparently, so was he. 
Availability is an issue, but one I hope we can find a solution to. The biggest problem is that I did three debates and two talks in a two-month period. I've burned up all of my vacation for the year. It's already spent or allocated for the last few speaking gigs this year. Okay, Matt's email is dated July 11, 2012, and he's basically telling me that he's booked up for the rest of the year. So I don't contact him for the rest of the year. Insert the noise of crickets right here. Spanning a period of six months until January 2013. Yeah, the six months that you said you burned up all your vacation for. When Cy emailed me on a separate issue, he was basically giving us some information about a caller to our show. And I appreciate that, which is one of the only reasons I'm bothering to respond to this now. Actually, it was two callers. They're from Sweden, and they were the ones, if you watch Matt's show, that kept calling in and harassing him, calling him names on air. And they were actually atheists. But they were also harassing Eric Hovind's ministry. And he had contacted me and asked if I could track them down. And I did. And I passed that information on to Matt. I asked if he was interested in having that information. And in that email, I told Matt that I was still interested in debating him. The debate that he suggested on his show six months before. And he did respond. Matt said he was interested in the information on those callers and would try to get back to me. But what did I hear for over a year? That's right. And then what did I hear? And cl it's clear that he's been paying attention to the presuppositionalist knuckleheads like Cy Ten mm -hmm. and uh, Kent, uh, no, not Kent Hovind, um, Eric, Eric Hovind, or Eric uh, who, who supposedly wanted to debate me, but uh, evidently are just too doggone busy all the time to ever actually make it happen. You see, that's why I responded, man. You called me out after over a year of silence. But in that email, he said also that he's still willing and interested in doing the debate. Okay, that's January 2013. I said, great. No, Matt, you didn't. You never got back to me. Didn't hear anything else at all. Until yesterday. Over a year later since the last one. Now, because I mentioned on the show that Sarah Moorhead had tried to set up a two versus one debate, me versus Eric and Kent, or Eric and uh, Cy, sorry. I had no idea that this Sarah was trying to set up a debate between Matt and Eric and myself. This is the email that I saw. I'm working on putting together a debate with Eric and Cy versus a secularist. No mention of Matt in the email that I saw. Uh, at Aposticon, and they had declined. First of all, I never knew that you were trying to debate me again. And secondly, I never declined. All of a sudden, boy, this is why I think it's mostly ego and self-promotion for Cy. All of a sudden, he's ready. Ah, let's do this. Put up or shut up. Come on, I'll debate you. All of a sudden, it was in response to the video that you posted. The presupposition was knuckleheads like Cy Ten mm -hmm. and you, you didn't have to go through all that. And by the way, when I said they declined, I didn't say that they refused to ever debate, although that seems to be the trend. Um, I just said they declined. And in this case, it wasn't Cy who actually declined. So contrary to what you said, I never declined to debate you. It was what I understand to be their representative. I wasn't trying to set any of this up. Sarah was. That's right. Shift the blame. Their representative? I'm in Canada. Eric is in Florida. What do I have to do with Eric's representative? So, you're not at my level, Cy. Thank God. But I will stoop down to yours and engage in little YouTube banter, maybe some Facebook taunting, and I will once again accept your challenge to debate. That's great, man. Let's debate. I'm tired of your nonsense. And we'll see what happens. However, because of your track record, You've contacted me, I've replied, you vanish. You contact me, I reply, you vanish. You contact me, I reply, you vanish. Well, the record's clear now. I'm done talking to you. Sarah Moorhead has been authorized to set up this debate. You can work with Sarah to set it up. You can have your representative work with Sarah to set it up. I've got five debates over the next two weeks. I've got plenty of other things to do that don't involve pandering to somebody who has a track record of seeming to just want to leech a little publicity off of a bigger fish. <laughs> if 
you want to actually do the debate, great. I'm all in. Fantastic. If you don't, man, just stop because it's starting to look really bad. Well, it is now, Matt. I'm really looking forward to this debate, and I thank you for over 850 shows of material for me to choose from. It's an embarrassment of riches. See you in June.